Hey third graders, today we're going to read this book, Monkey, A Trickster Tale from India by Gerald McDermott. And I want you to think, is this book considered a fable? What's the moral or the lesson of this book? And what kind of category would you say or genre that this book is in? Let's get started. The pictures in here are pretty cool. Monkey, chattering monkey. He lived high in a tree on the banks of the wide flowing river. Monkey jumped so high and so fast through the treetops, no one could catch him. But catching monkey was exactly what Crocodile wanted to do. Mmm, murmured hungry Crocodile. How delicious a monkey heart would be. I can see that that crocodile really is hungry. Crocodile slithered into the water. Good morning, monkey, he called out. Good morning, crocodile, answered monkey. Where are you going? To the island in the middle of the river, answered crocodile. Yum, said monkey. Delicious mangoes grow there. But that's too far for me to swing. I'll climb on my back. Climb on my back, my friend called Crocodile. I'll take you to the island. You think Monkey's going to trust him? Monkey swung down from the tree and hopped onto Crocodile's scaly back. As Crocodile glided through the deep, dark water, he sank lower and lower. Monkey began to get wet. I wonder what Monkey's thinking right now. My goodness, I cannot swim, shouted Monkey. Well, how well I know, said Crocodile. Now I'm going to eat your heart. Eat my heart, said Monkey. What a pity, I left it up in the tree. You left your heart in the tree? Crocodile grumbled. What a nuisance. A nuisance means kind of an annoying thing. Crocodile returned with Monkey to the muddy river bank. And as soon as they reached the shore, Monkey leaped off Crocodile's back and scampered up a tall tree, laughing and chattering. I wonder what he's thinking. Look, my heart is here, called Monkey from the tree shop. Just climb up and get it. Crocodile grunted and thrashed and swam away. Hmm, do you think Crocodile can climb up that tree? Now Monkey wanted the delicious mangoes more than ever. He leapt from treetop to treetop until he discovered some large rocks far down river. He saw that if he skipped across the rocks to the island, he could feast on the mangoes every day. He seems like a pretty smart monkey. The next morning, Crocodile came swimming down the river, looking for Monkey. He heard Monkey chattering and saw Monkey jump from rock to, from tree to rock to island. I shall pretend I'm a rock, said Crocodile. When Monkey jumps on me, I will snap him up in heart and all. Crocodile lay low in the water all day long. Here's Monkey with those mangoes. When Monkey had eaten his fill, he headed home for, with all the mangoes he could carry. He jumped off the island into a rock in the river. He was about to jump onto one another to another rock, but something was wrong. Monkey looked closer, and he called out in a cheery voice, Hello, rock. Crocodile was silent. He lay low in the water. Monkey called out again. I say, good evening, rock. Crocodile said nothing. Being sneaky. Rock, will you not greet me this evening, asked Monkey. Crocodile thought the rock must usually answer. He said, good evening. Ha. Huh. You're not a rock, said Monkey. You're a crocodile. I'm as good as a rock, said Crocodile. You can jump on me to get to the other side. Well, what a splendid idea, said Monkey. Here I come. Monkey got ready to leap. Crocodile closed his eyes and opened his jaws. But instead of leaping, Monkey popped a mango right into Crocodile's mouth. Bang! Crocodile snapped his jaw shut. 
Quickly, Monkey jumped on Crocodile's nose and then into the muddy brown riverbank. Laughing and chattering, Monkey scampered up a tree and swung from branch to branch. Your teeth may be sharp, Monkey shouted to Crocodile, but your mind is dull. Now Monkey feasts on delicious mangoes every day. Crocodile live, lies low in the water, keeping an eye on him. And when Monkey crosses the river to go home, he is always careful to jump on a rock and not on Crocodile. Did you like that book? I'm wondering, with all that we know about fables, do you think that this book, Monkey, could be considered a fable? Hmm, let's think about that.